Hello and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract and in this bubbling we're going to take a look at the new code pen topics for Zim. So that's uh, great news. Let's uh, go have a look. So we'll go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com and we will go to, let's see, under the about section I guess or any of the pages have the social media there. There's the code pen icon, right like that. We'll press that, and that takes us into the Zim code pen. But then under on everybody's code pen over here on the left, there's picks, popular, following, and topics right there. So we go into topics, and here are the code pen topics, React, View, D3, and there's Zim. So uh, that's most excellent. We've also got GreenSock, ZDog, and SAS, and a bunch of other ones. So we press on Zim, like so. And it comes into the Zim intro uh, coding creativity with Canvas. And that's the four little ones that are also on the intro in Zim. That's the, what we've shown first. Then there's the code pen template, getting from the very simplest or more simple to the, 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 the more complex, I guess. Uh, dragging a circle, there's um, blob, blobs, there's transform, various registration points, positioning objects. So as basic as we can get to the uh, more advanced coming in, so here's animating, there's the whole set of different animations, shape animations, we carry on here. These uh, are all live previews, but they, they only last a certain amount of time, and that's why as we scroll down, we don't see them all. But here, here's uh, animating on a path, dragging on a path, gesture, so pinch, uh, rotate, and pan. More on, uh, rel or on the containers with their, their own coordinate systems. Uh, here's a sprite, so sprite on the canvas. Uh, a button, so simple sort of button arrangements, and then a bunch of different buttons detecting hits, so hit tests, hit tests on grids, hit tests on path. How are you doing out there? <laughs> uh, set of the components, styling components, layers, which is more of a specific uh, type of transform, uh, nested transforms. Pages with swiping and hotspots, getting into the responsive designs and the layout class. Um, tiles, so these are moving into the controls now. Tiles, uh, parallax, the emitter, more in particle emitter, uh, handling data, so bringing in data with async, and Zim physics. We should probably add a 3D one in there. Why not? But there's also featured Zim pens right here. So these were called patterns and templates, what we just looked through. And then here are the featured pens. So there's many, like maybe, I don't know, 80 or something like that. 80 featured pens throughout all this. And any of these you can click on and then see the code as well and fork it and try things out. Your one's done over the holidays. See, one thing as you do scroll on through through all these, uh, we did have a comment saying, uh, and we addressed that comment, which was nice, saying, you know, why are we using Zim? Why not use jQuery UI or something like that? or HTML. I just want you to think as you go through these things like could could we make something like this with jQuery UI? I mean, I don't I don't think so. I'm I'm dragging that along a path. We're zapping little asteroids. It seems um it just seems more free. I mean, there's some things around the edges that we could, but it, it's never the best thing to have two different systems for interfaces. It's harder to embed interactivity. You can only interact with either this one or this one. If this was HTML, and, that, and so there's there's just issues uh, on that kind of thing. So I just have a think and look at all of the different types of things that we're making on the canvas. Uh, we didn't even finish all of them and say, you know, would that be easy to make in traditional HTML? And I think the answer is no for most of them. There are some things that we're doing that where we're comparing, and there's a lot of comparisons in the featured pens here. Um, 
35% the size of Pixie, but we also do compare some to HTML. I don't know where they are, I guess, later on. And I'm not, or we're not, trying to do traditional websites here in Zim. But if a traditional website, a case in point was one of these ones, I can't, maybe, I, I don't even know if we put it in because it was very much a traditional website. We remade it in Zim. Let's see if we can find it. I don't see it, so I'm not sure we've included it in here. We remade it in Zim. Well, that that was one remade in Zim, but there's you know animation involved in that. This could be a traditional website. In some cases, we're remaking something that looks like a traditional re website to point out that there can be a better way. <laughs> I mean, HTML is great, CSS and JavaScript, but if they're giving us uh, the, the sort of integrate, or not the integration, what, what would you call it? The animation, for instance. If we can animate things in a totally readable way in half half the amount of you know text code, then I mean, we're just kind of saying HTML, look, you know, you're, you're a bit clunky there. You, you could do this easier. So um, we did one example. Like I said, I don't see it here. It was it was sort of neat, where they asked to make a web page without looking at the results. So just sort of type it in, and try to rebuild this web page. And so I decided we'd try it with Zim, and I got very close. And I looked at the other pens of how people did it when they were trying to do it with HTML and CSS and stuff. And they were just like so far away from typing something in and, and, and showing it. And we've all experienced that. Like everybody has experienced, oh my God, well, what is this doing? What is CSS doing? You know, until you become maybe a very high master at it, perhaps. And we didn't have that with Zim. I mean, I, I suppose I'm a high master of Zim, so perhaps that's not fair. But uh, for the most part, I was able to make exactly what I was expecting, and it showed up. <laughs> so you can go hunt down that example that's somewhere on the Zoom page. Uh, aside from that, we're, we're back here in the topic still. Um, there's the featured Zim posts. Now, I wish they would include images on the display page here, but there's a welcome to Zim. So if, you, if you go inside here, oh, can't click the whole box either. If you click on the title, uh, you can see that it's quite filled with images here. Um, so a welcome to Zim on the canvas. So that's that's an overview. How do we get back there? Zim posts. Uh, here's learning and teaching with Zim on the canvas. So it talks about Zim school and also uh, learning through CodePen. Here's Zim features for the canvas. So there's a couple ones for Zim features where we go through and talk about them, the components and the animation, different collections. So the posts are excellent to read as well. And there was another one that was um, called uh, goodies or something like that. Let's just see. Treats, that's it. So that's features. Here's Zim Treats, which talks about the Zim Duo technique for parameters regularly. Here's regular parameters. And then uh, ones with the configuration objects. That's just wonderful to work with things like that. Uh, the chaining that we're doing, the short chainables, the Zim V values to introduce the PIX uh, dynamic parameters. We've got style on the canvas. So, um, uh, you know, there you go. Uh, Zim namespace if you need it, but you don't have to have it. This thing called Zim on, which allows you to store any Zim objects as strings and therefore in local storage or something like that, et cetera, et cetera. That, that was just sort of extra treats. There's also things like single drag and drops, multiple hit tests, easy, all the, all the stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, it's pretty easy <laughs> in Zim. So those are treats, uh, beyond, beyond the easy even. Um, what else is in the, uh, I think we've gone off, we're now in the post specifically. Uh, the Zim philosophy as well, you might want to take a read over that. So what we're trying to do here and hopefully uh, buy into that as well. Um, and, and there's more as well. We'll go back to topics here. Hit Zim. Uh, there's also pens. If you do make a pen, then... Um, put your uh, 
put zim.js as a topic and stuff like that. You can see if other people are making things with zim as well. Most of it's us or this guy Dan Zen. Who is that guy? That's nice. There's Zinkle at 6,000 views and 145 likes. Uh, right, so that's Zim Pens Project Post Collections. Where am I now? Well, I'm going back to topics. So now we sort of leave topics easily. Uh, but there is also up here on the top the official website. But if you're, you know, if you've seen Zim before, you probably know where that is. A link to documentations, the tutorials, which is the learn section in Zim on GitHub. If you've got GitHub, uh, come on over and give us a star. We don't really push GitHub all that much. We don't work there a lot. We do keep all the Zims up to date on there. It's a good repository. But in terms of um, terms of support and things like that, we're mostly doing that. Like we're very, very busy through um, through Slack. So you come to zimjs.com slash Slack. So that's an overview. Zim themselves have, if you, uh, we're full screen, has zimjs, zimjs on CodePen. And here are all of the, the Zim uh, pens themselves. If you need to see them all, you can hit view pens. We just launched a pretty cool one, a 3D photo gallery, which is uh, not just Zim, but 3JS. So this was for a CodePen challenge. CodePen has these challenges, and this one was for a uh, photo gallery. So can you guess what's going to happen? Different photo, neat, huh? And there's Dr. Abstract himself, where you could click the things down here and go to the different, different pictures of uh, Dan, uh, Dr. Abstract parting, <laughs> clubbing and parting. Neat, huh? So this is 3JS embedded in Zim, so we can use the swiper on it and the indicator. We have other versions of this where we were changing the color of the phone with a color picker and uh, scaling it, moving it around with sliders and dials, if you so desire. I mean, 3JS is great on its own, but uh, we can bring it in and work with the various interfaces and and conveniences that Zim gives us. So that's the code pen topic, and that's just wonderful to, to be right here um, in, in the topics page. So thank you very much, code pen, for that. There she be, Zim on the code pen topics. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling with Zim code pen. Oh, <laughs> well, blah, 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 blah. there you go. Blah, 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 blah. Code pen is codepen.io if you need to get there as well. And like, uh, as you saw, you could go to the about page and click on the, or any of the social media links to get there as well. You should sign up to CodePen and give us a, give us a follow, give us some hearts. That would be great. Uh, come on in, do some forking, forking, fork around on uh, on CodePen. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you there. Ciao.